Hi guys, my name is Erica Rascon and today I'm going to lead you through a quick total body flow in basic yoga. So what I would do first is go through each step that I'll integrate into the flow so then that way we can get some of the alignment points and things like that settled and then we'll integrate the flow into more fluid movement. So hopefully this will be a nice quick workout for you. So uh, before we get started you might want to grab two blocks. I recommend that you invest in a set of blocks just because they'll be so helpful for your yoga practice and it doesn't have to be a specific brand. Just get a block that feels sturdy to the touch, like you can put your full body weight on it and it'll support you. It's really my only standard for blocks. So let's go ahead, grab our blocks and head to the mat. And we're going to set up, start off with half sun salutations before getting into some more gentle stretches. Begin at the top of the mat with your feet parallel to the long edges of the mat, toes pointed forward. Lengthen your tailbone down, lift the sternum and the chest, and let the shoulder blades drop down the back. Just take a few breaths here to allow yourself to get centered and to let yourself be fully present on the mat before starting your practice. You may take an opportunity to draw in a few deep breaths and complete exhalations. And then on your next exhale, just go ahead and slowly open the eyes, bring the hands to the heart center and prepare to flow. On your inhale, you'll draw the hands up overhead, fingertips towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, hinge up your hips and forward fold with a flat back. You have the option to bring your hands down to the floor or to place your blocks in front of your toes and use those for a little bit of support. With the next inhalation, you'll press yourself halfway up, reestablish the length in the back, and then exhale, fold again. With the inhalation, you come all the way up to standing, hands overhead, and exhale, hands to your heart center. We'll do that twice more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hinge up the hips and forward fold, hands to your block. Inhale, flat back. Exhale and fold. Inhale, arms all the way up, fingertips up. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Last time, inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arch halfway up, flat back. Exhale, deep fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing, and then exhale the hands down to the heart center. We're going to move into the upper body now, uh, integrating plank pose. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, put a deep bend in the knees and bring the hands all the way down to your mat. You'll exhale, step back to plank, and we're going to hold plank for five breaths. Be sure that you're lengthening the tailbone away towards your heels and that you're not arching up in the low back or sagging down in the hips. Try to find a nice neutral position for the back. And then after your fifth breath, go ahead and lower all the way down to your mat. Slap this out of the way. <laughs> We're going to inhale into cobra pose, gripping into the mat slightly with the fingertips, drawing the chest forward. Exhale, bring the forehead down to the mat. Inhale, cobra, elbows pointed back. Exhale, release. Three more times. Inhale to cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, glue those toes down to the mat as you lift into cobra. Exhale, release. You should feel this towards your mid back. Inhale, last time. Exhale, release. You're going to pass through hands and knees and then come into child's pose, bringing the knees a little bit wider than the hips, drawing the big toes together and then sinking the hips back and down towards the heels. Take about three breaths here in child's pose, getting lots of length in the back body, reaching the fingertips towards the front of the mat. Awesome. Inhale as you come into hands and knees pose. And we're going to go into downward facing dog. So tuck the toes under behind you, lift the hips up, and then take them back. 
back as you drop the heels. You'll continue to press into the mat with your fingertips, focusing particularly on your index finger and your thumb. And you'll lengthen through the arms, bringing the crooks of the elbows forward, and just let the head and the neck relax. Continue to take that tailbone up towards the back corner of your room, and maybe you want to pedal out your dog a little bit here, just by bending one knee and then the other, maybe walk out the ankles a little bit. Just warm up in the first dog of the day. We'll take one more breath here. And then as you inhale, begin to walk the hands forward, or feet forward towards the hands, coming into your forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway up. And exhale, we're going to come into the forward fold with a deep, deep bend in the knees. Let the chest rest on the thighs. Next time that you inhale, we're going to come all the way up to standing. And then exhale the hands to the heart center. We're going to return to Tadasana here, just to give you an opportunity to check back in with your breath and to reconnect with a smooth, steady breath. If you're an absolute beginner, you may find that your heart rate has increased a little bit as your body sort of warms up in the practice, and that's completely awesome. Just be sure that you're keeping in tune with the breath, keeping it deep and keeping it steady. We'll take one more breath into asana. And then as you inhale, let the eyes open gently. Exhale the hands to the heart center. We're going to inhale, bringing the hands up overhead. Exhale, forward fold, hands on the block. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, step back with the right foot to come into a low lunge. Now you can bring the blocks on either side of the front foot. That'll help to get lots of space around the chest. I'm going to move this out of the way just so that you can see. But as you're in your low lunge, you want to aim to keep the knee over the ankle, and you're going to keep the pelvis in kind of a neutral position, just slightly shifted forward. Both hip points are coming towards the front end of the mat, and you're not twisted in one direction or the other, just nice and parallel to that front edge of the mat. The back knee is down, you can keep the toes tucked, or flatten the top of the foot towards the mat, whatever works best for you. I recommend using the blocks just because they give you so much space around the chest and you can really sink down into the hips a little bit. Take a few more breaths here. Opening the collarbone, drawing the shoulders slightly together behind you. And then with the next exhalation, I'm going to straighten through the front leg and come into a hamstring stretch. Now you might notice that if you rock back, your hips initially kind of go behind your knee. Sometimes it'll be a little tempting to do this. Try to keep your hips stacked over the back knee and still straighten the front leg. Now, if this is really deep for you, the blocks are super awesome for bringing the floor a little bit closer. You still get a great stretch through the front of your leg, or through your front leg, without compromising that by arching the back and hunching over. Take a few more breaths here. Feel free to sort of rock back and forward on the heel of the foot, flexing and pointing through the toes. And then we're going to take it back into our low lunge, moving the blocks if needed. We're going to tuck the back toes under if you untuck them. Step to the front of the mat into a forward fold. Next exhalation takes you deeper into the fold, and then as you inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale the hands at the heart center, and prepare to do the same thing on the opposite side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, and fold. Inhale, arch halfway up. Exhale, step back with the left foot. Take your low lunge. Take a few breaths here, refining each alignment point. Checking to make sure that your knee is nice and safe over the ankle, that both hips are pointed forward, and you're really sinking those hips down towards the front foot. A few breaths here. Beautiful. Let that next exhalation take you into the hamstring stretch, shifting the hips back, and then maybe taking the blocks with you if they felt great in the first version of the stretch. And just kind of rock back and forward on the heel of the foot. 
warming up a little bit through the feet and the ankles while still getting a really nice stretch for the hamstrings. One more full round of breath here. And then with that next inhalation, you're going to come back into your low lunge, tuck those back toes under, and then step forward to the forward fold. Get nice and long through the back. And then let the next inhalation bring you all the way up to standing. Exhale the hands at the heart center. Now we're going to combine those two phases together. So you want to set the blocks out of the way for now. Come back to the front of the mat. Bring the hands to the heart center on an exhalation. Then inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arch halfway up with a flat back. Exhale, step back to plank and lower all the way down to the mat. Inhale into your cobra pose, and we're gonna exhale going straight into downward facing dog by passing through plank or hands and knees pose. Take a few breaths here, lengthening the back and seeing if you can create a lot of space from the tailbone to the crown of the head. Let the heels become very heavy as they drop towards the floor, even if they don't quite reach. And as you inhale, look forward to the hands. We have to walk the feet towards the hands, coming into your forward fold with legs straight or a little bend in the knees. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands of heart center. We're gonna do that one more time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arch halfway up. Exhale, step back to plank and lower all the way down to cobra. Inhale, sorry, lower all the way down to that. Inhale to cobra. And then exhale to downward facing dog, passing through plank or through table position. Just two breaths here this time. Shorter stay. You're going to take the next inhale to walk the hands all the way forward with a slight bend in the knees, come up to standing with an inhalation and exhale the hands at the heart center. We're going to take a few warrior poses. So let's go ahead and take one big step back with the left foot, just as if we were coming into a high lunge. But we're going to rotate on the ball of that back foot so that the blade of the foot is parallel to the short edge of the mat. The right toes are pointed forward, hips you can have a nice neutral position, tailbone is angled down, and you'll bring the arms so that they're parallel to the floor. Think about bringing your thigh also parallel to the floor, so you want a nice deep bend into that right knee, and the weight in that foot shifts slightly towards the pinky edge of the foot. We'll take three breaths here, continuing to draw that breath really deep down into the belly space. One more breath. And then as you exhale, you're going to drop that left hand, let the forearm rest on the low back, and then you can open the chest towards the ceiling as you take a little back bend into reverse warrior pose. Continue to open the chest up towards the ceiling, and only bend as much as you can breathe comfortably. With the next exhalation, return to warrior two. Drop the right forearm to the top of the right thigh, and draw that left bicep up near the left ear as we come into extended side angle. Exhale, return to warrior two. And we're gonna engage the core, walk in the back foot just a little bit and find ourselves coming into crescent pose, which is really a nice deep high lunge, biceps near the ears, chest open, gaze slightly towards the ceiling. Few breaths here. Exhale the hands down to the mat and then step back to downward facing dog. By now you may feel the muscles have warmed up quite a bit. And you can get a nice good stretch in your down dog. See if you can look at your heels in your downward facing dog. If you can see your heels, inwardly rotate the thighs and kind of let the heels disappear behind the ankles. Two more breaths here. And then with the next inhalation, again, walking the feet, 
towards the hands, coming into a forward fold with good legs. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, the hands to the heart center. Awesome. We'll do the warrior series on the opposite side. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, arms all the way up, flat back. Sorry, half lift. Exhale, step back to plank and then lower down to cobra as you inhale. Exhale, down dog. We'll just take two breaths in this down dog. Enough to get into the pose, let the heels sink down. And then as you begin to walk to the front of the mat, we're going to come all the way up to standing. Exhale, the hands to the heart center. This time we're stepping back with the right foot. Rotating on the ball of the right foot so that you are bringing the right blade of the foot parallel to the short edge of the mat. And taking warrior two. Take a quick peek back at your back hand. Make sure that's not hanging out low or lifting too high. Try to keep it nice and balanced, strong through the shoulders. Awesome. We're going to flip into reverse warrior, dropping the right hand down near the low back, and then bringing that left bicep up near the left ear. Remember to keep the lunge on the front knee. A few breaths here. Exhale, return to warrior two, and then pass straight through into extended side angle. Maintain a nice deep lunge into that left knee and stay powerfully ankled through the right foot. Inhale back to warrior two. Walk in that back foot just a little bit, squeeze in your core as you make the transition into crescent pose. Exhale my hands down to the mat. Step back into downward facing dog. Take three nice long breaths here. Feel that warmth circulating along the back of the hamstrings, the calves, and the Achilles. And then once you're finished with that third breath, go ahead, bend the knees, take them nice and wide, and return to child's pose, giving your body an opportunity to dial down the effort and come back into the breath. I want to thank you for joining me for this quick workout today. I encourage you to take a few moments after your child's pose to enjoy a mini Shavasana, just letting yourself lie completely flat on the mat in a resting pose. And you can take this moment to focus on the breath, or you can use that as a transition to your meditation practice. If you have any questions, feel free to just pop me an email or drop a question in the feedback section. Thanks. Hope you have a blessed day.